Today, Myla has been with us for an entire month, and Myla is a Great Dane that I'm fostering. It's so hard to believe that it's been an entire month. It just feels like just a couple of weeks have gone by. Anyway, today I'm taking her to the vet, so she has her very first appointment with my vet, and we're actually going to look at her mobility issues. I'm thinking maybe she has an old injury, possibly arthritis, I'm not really sure, and I just wanted to have my vet take a look at her and see. She's not quite as agile and graceful as Great Danes normally are, and that concerns me a little bit, so I just want to make sure she's completely comfortable and not in pain. Anyway, I wanted to tell you real quick before we go, this Vetterson that I ordered off Amazon is like a miracle spray. You would not believe how great her legs look. For the first three and a half weeks, I had to keep them wrapped with gauze and with medical pads, and she still messed with it, and her legs were still looking really bad. She has a lit granuloma. Anyway, I used this spray, which came highly recommended, and I thought, why not, right? It's worth a shot, <laughs> literally. And I was amazed. She hasn't had wraps on her legs at all since I started using the spray, and her legs really dried up and started looking amazingly better within a day, within the first day. It was just truly amazing. So let me show you real quick what they look like now, and I'll show you some before and after pictures below the video on this blog post. Look how great your legs are looking now. Much better. Much better. So as you can see, they've dried up a lot. They were really open, oozing, red, bloody wounds. I know, gross. Anyway, we're off to the vet, and we'll be back in a little bit, and I'll give you a quick update and let you know what the vet says. Got your nose in the video? Slim sniffing, saying hello. We're back from the vet, and it was quite an interesting trip. I discovered a few things that I really didn't know about Myla. First and foremost is her teeth are in really bad shape, and that explains why she smells so bad, especially her breath. So I'll see if I can zoom in and show these to you because it's really bad. And I had looked at her teeth and I don't know how I didn't catch this. Let me show your teeth. So she has to go in for a dentistry, which is... <laughs> we just had a sonic boom or something. I don't know what that was. <laughs> Freaked the dogs out. Anyway, she has to go in for a dentistry, which means she'll have to be sedated. It is kind of a surgical procedure, but it should really make a big difference and keep her from losing her teeth and keep her from getting infections due to the state of her teeth. The other thing is, I was originally told that she was aged between three and five years old. I kind of felt like she was a little older than that just because of her mobility issues and some other things. And that was one of the issues my vet brought up. She feels that she's at least seven years old, which is quite old for a Great Dane. <laughs> Kisses. As for her mobility issues, she did give me something for that. She gave me this product called Duralactin, which is a Joint Plus Soft Chew. <laughs> you want some of those too, Slim? It is a puppy. These are supposed to be really good for joint problems and arthritis. And while she didn't find any advanced stages of arthritis or any major problems with her range of mobility, she did find some stiffness in her back leg, the one that I've noticed causing her problems. And the Duralactin will prevent those problems from progressing faster, so that's a good thing. Other than that, the vet was really pleased with how her front legs are looking and highly recommended the Vetterson that I've been using on her front legs. So that's definitely a keeper. This is like a miracle spray. Works great on any kind of animal for hot spots. Of course, the lit granuloma, which is what Myla has, and any kind of wounds, you know, like if they get cuts or scrapes or burns or what have you. So good stuff, and we had a good visit today. She's gained almost a pound in the last couple of weeks, which isn't bad. And other than needing to have the major dentistry work done to make sure she doesn't lose her teeth or get major infections, she's in pretty good shape. And I'm really sad about her teeth. I wish that's something that I would have caught earlier but I simply didn't know what to look for. You know, I had just kind of looked at her teeth a little bit, and they looked normal to me. I mean, they're just teeth. But if you really pull her gums back, like way far back, and she loves it when you do that. <laughs> you have to pull them way far back like that, which they don't like, in order to see it, and that's what I was missing. So it's way up there, and she has some serious problems in her gum areas, which explains why she stinks. <laughs> I kiss you anyway sweet girl. She's a good baby. Like I said, she's been with us one month today. Can't believe it's been four weeks, honestly. I mean, time really just flies. But as you can see, she's very lovable. She's very appreciative of being taken care of. 